Halo Warframe Use Chains videos in this Nightmare House 2019 The Dark Harvest Hump Build Day 9 and I'm starting in some place new today. This is the garage. You guys haven't even seen it yet, but this is the garage. Um yeah, it's been clean big time. Uh all that stuff's on that side and there's gonna be a wall right there so you won't be able to see it, but not much was done today and it's kind of upsetting because today is Sunday and usually the weekends are when we get a lot done, but uh definitely not as much as I planned to have done was done today. But it's just because so much had to be fixed because of the stupid tropical storm that came through, broke literally everything, and the windmill's still not fixed, the farmhouse is still not fixed, all that stuff needs to be fixed, so it's really an issue. But uh, let's just start in the garage uh, where the barn is. So, we're going to start right here. Uh, the walls are not up yet, but the frame for the walls is up. So here's the PVC frame that the wall is going to be made out of. And this is going to be covered in a wood wall scene setter. And then there's going to be stables coming out, like I've mentioned in my blueprint video. But the frame for the wall is there. And uh, there's props back here. And a lot of these props I am going to be using, but they're here for now. And they will be taken out later. But uh, that's there, the frame. This thing used to be right there. That was moved. And it kind of makes more of a, walk, a walkway. So you can't see what's at the exit there, which I like. There's a light up there, which probably won't stay there. I just put it there to test it, but it's a flame light. I hung some bats from the ceiling here. We have that one, and then screeching bat right at the exit, and they are going to stay there. Now, hay bale popper's on the ground there because he broke, so we were trying to fix him today, but he is unfixable at the time. So I'm probably going to either just use him as a static or borrow Max. I don't know yet. But, um, yeah, the garage is clean for the most part. Uh, there's still stuff that needs to be moved out, but not too much. So the, hopefully the barn will be started on, well, it was kind of already started on, but hopefully the walls will go up in it tomorrow. I ordered my fog sense now, so I finally have fog sense this year. I ordered some swamp juice. I still need a 1,000 watt fog machine because mine broke. And I ordered some scene setters, which should all be coming in the mail tomorrow. So that'll definitely help. So the scene setters can go up in the barn tomorrow when the scene setters come. I can test out the swamp juice and hopefully actually get the barn done either tomorrow or Tuesday. Because once the walls in the barn are up, I can start putting props in it and get all the props in it because it is a covered place. So I don't have to worry about anything getting ruined. So all the props can actually go in here. Uh, of course, the barn facade isn't going to be done until the week of Halloween, but, uh, you know, it's it'll be done. Halloween's next week, because it is Sunday, so I'm super excited. Halloween's next week, yay. But, um, so, yeah, a few things were done in the barn, not much. I don't know if I'm going to put hay bale popper there yet, or if I'm going to put him by the farmhouse. I don't know, but here's the bats. Hi, bud. You're a bud. So here's the door coming out into the field of screams and as you can tell there's way less corn stalks than before and the reason why is because of the storm obviously ruined a lot of the corn stalks luckily these ones were spared which is good um, these corn stalks were spared somewhat they're still a little bit ruined but they're not as ruined as some of the other ones that were snapped right in half but luckily, I didn't use all my corn stalks when I put them up the first time because I was afraid something like this would happen. So I made sure not to use all of them. And so I still have some to replace the ones that broke. So that's a good thing. And it's good that these ones weren't completely broken. But I have, in case you're wondering, why would you put them up in case it happens again? Well, there's not going to be another tropical storm. There probably will be more wind and rain a couple more times before Halloween. But I have a solution. Before, I just put them in the ground and they didn't go very far in the ground. Now. I have stakes put in the ground and then I tied them to the stakes and so they're still not windproof but they're a lot uh, more windproof than before so I don't have any corn stalks up and down here like I did before because all those ones snapped every single one of the ones here snapped and if they didn't snap I used them for there because I want the tallest ones back there but um yeah so there's no corn stalks around here anymore they will go up probably tomorrow. It depends. I might wait a few days just to make sure uh, no more winds come through that will ruin them. My scarecrow is looking a little bit different. I'm sure you can tell. His blood's faded off from rain, obviously, and uh, everything. He actually his head broke off, but I fixed it, so he's that's not really an issue. But um, I'm gonna go over here. 
and show you some stuff that was done. The farmhouse is not in the right position. The porch is off <laughs> because it broke. And so the farmhouse needs to be fully fixed. Well, not fully fixed. It's still here, but there's just parts not holding it together that need to be fixed, and then it will be put back right in the right position. The windmill, the propellers snapped off. But that's fine, because we were going to fix those anyways and make them look not like a Templar cross. So that's fine. My dad is currently trying to put poles in the ground so walls can be put up hopefully tomorrow and looky here Simon Slaughterhouse facade has started and it looks really stupid right now because it's just cardboard but once it is painted it'll look way better so don't worry the cardboard is just to cover it and so there's actually a, something to paint and then I started, the, I, I did some more work, work on the back room of Simon Slaughterhouse. I moved that. Got a table in here finally. My axe fell, but I did have an axe hang uh, up against this here. Fix that. Make sure it stays. There's an axe just hanging there. Uh, some scissors. That head was moved there. That was moved there because I found out I had a place to hang that there. And then these tools on the back wall. This head was put here. I kind of spray painted this tablecloth that's on this box. This is not a real table. Well, there is a real table under it, but then there's a box and then there's a tablecloth covering it. But, um, that head is there and then there's a heart and a bloody knife and then death crawler is on the table now instead of in the corner. Uh, this is definitely not done. There's going to be way more body parts added to this table and to those shelves. But it's definitely looking good. Uh, I, like I said, I want this to be more of a rustic butcher shop, because it's supposed to be on a farm. So we'll, we'll see how that comes across. But of course, this is a part of Simon Slaughterhouse, too. And so once those walls are put up, then I'll probably put a wood scene setter on those so it still looks rustic. There's the back side of the facade, so you can see the PVC structure in case you missed the last build. So that was everything I was done today. Not too much, but uh, hopefully more will be done tomorrow. Hope you all enjoyed. Keep out with the Moonmower Wolves. Hey, come back. You don't play fair and you're making me angry. But maybe if you subscribe to Jaden's videos and join the Werewolf Army, I'll let you live another day. But it's not guaranteed. <laughs>